How's it going guys? I'm your host Carvan Sagas and today I'm super duper excited to be bringing you guys our newest XRGB 3.0 soundboard. Okay, so this is our latest soundboard for our RGB lightsabers and it also now comes with the functionality that allows you to control your lightsaber using your phone app. Okay, so that is very convenient for people who cannot get the timing down or who don't know how to use a PC to go ahead and change the configuration settings. Previously on our ORGB soundboard, you weren't able to touch the configuration settings at all. Whatever you had inside of the soundboard was it. But right now, this new soundboard allows you to change many of the settings. Okay, it's almost almost on par with the uh, new Sino soundboard already. So that is very very exciting because the RGB soundboard is a budget soundboard and it is mainly used for uh, dueling. But if you're just looking for a budget lightsaber and you can't afford the Xeno Pixel yet, then the RGB soundboard is a fantastic budget soundboard with all the new settings that you're able to control right now. Okay, I'll showcase the phone app later on how to control the saber using that. But right now, we'll go ahead and see the saber in action. So when the saber is asleep, all you have to do is press and hold until you hear a power on. Okay, and for sabers that have this uh, button exposed, you'll be able to use the button as well as the lighting to time uh, how many flashes you need to press and hold before it triggers the uh, settings, okay? For those that are unable to see the button here, some might be hidden under a control box, some sabers might be, you know, using a different style here, whereby this is hidden. Then you will need to practice the timing uh, in order to adjust the settings, but no worries, because with the phone app, you're able to adjust most of the important settings uh, of the saber without having to go into a PC or without having to, you know, get the timing down to a T. That is a problem that many people uh, used to have, which is practicing the timing. But, you know, practice makes perfect. But even now, you don't even need to practice because with the ease of the phone app, you can just, you know, change everything using your phone. All right, so you press and hold for one second to change the volume settings. Okay, so it has three uh, sound modes here, high, low, and mute, okay, depending on which one you want. Using a phone app, you can also configure it to be even more precise from zero all the way up to 100. I'll showcase that later, okay. And right now, power on the saber. So this is the steady mode, okay. Alright, so you can see here the blade is just a normal blade, nothing special. But we press and hold for two flashes. Unstable. Yeah, the unstable blade mode is powered on. So now you can see here the blade is more unstable. There's a uh, flashing white as well as the main color of the blade. Alright, and then we press and hold for two more flashes again. Pulse. Now we have pulse. Okay, pulse, I don't know, the camera can pick it up, but Pulse is basically like standard blade mode, but then the light is like breathing, it's like pulsing, uh, as the name suggests. Alright, next up, we press and hold for 3 seconds. Standard light. Or 3 flashes, okay. We have standard mode. Standard light. Yeah, there's only standard mode, guys. <laughs> because this is an RGB saber, you don't really have anything else, so it's basically just standard mode, and yeah, that's all you get. And we press and hold for 4 flashes. So you can turn off clash, okay, what this means is that no matter how hard you hit, there will be no clashes. Most people don't use this function unless you're in some sort of competition where the flashing is forbidden. But uh, yeah, normally you don't use that function. So press and hold for 4 seconds again to turn it back on. Clash on. Now, if I hit the blade, you can see it will clash. Okay, and if you press and hold for 5 seconds Motion control off You can turn off and on motion control Which means now uh, the motion controls all won't work Okay, and if I press and hold for 5 seconds again Motion control mo on Motion control will be turned back on Okay, so now to turn on the saber and show you guys the effects that you can do uh, while the blade is on. Alright, so you can press the button once to power on the saber and then you can press and hold again to power it off. Alternatively, what you can do is you can step on with motion control. 
Yeah. Okay. And then you can also pull back to power off the blade. Alternatively, you can also twist on to power on the blade, or you can twist to power off the blade. And one last one you can do is you can swing on. Okay, so you can swing the lightsaber to power on the blade. Alright, now when the saber is on, there's some things that you can do. So first off is crash. When you hit the saber, it will crash white. I get this question quite often, can you change the color of the flash or the crash? The answer is no, because this is RGB. Okay, uh, and then next you can press the button, you can tap the button to trigger blaster blocks. Okay, so this one is when you're blocking a blaster. And then you can hold down the button and crash the saber. This will trigger blade lockup, okay? So this is when two sabers are crashed together and the blade is there. Okay, and then you can just press again to turn it off, okay? And now, another question that I get asked a lot. Can our sabers change colors? And the answer is yes. You can change colors to any uh, of the different colors that you can think of. In finite color changing, all you have to do is press and hold it for two flashes while the blade is on. And you can see here. Alright. So now it's going to cycle through all the different colors. You can just look at all the different colors here. You can also go into the app and uh, you know adjust every single thing, every single RGB value to a T to the exact color that you want. Okay, so once it stops at the color that you want, all you have to do is press one time to select the color. Okay. And then now we can turn this off again. So uh, one thing that used to come with the old saber was that you could twist while the uh while this is facing upwards you could twist it and some tracks will have the sound tracks there were also some character quotes for the pre-ons regarding some of the sound tracks unfortunately that is no longer available inside of the new xrgb 3.0 board the manufacturers have removed it because they didn't want to get into any copyright issues but uh i will be looking into the files i have not had a chance to look at them yet but look at the files in the pc and see if it's possible to add them in if you really want to add them in on your own okay and uh to check to go to the next sound form, all you have to do is press and hold the third hunter all right until you hear the pre-on for the next sound font so you just keep press and hold the sun and then you have another sound form, okay and if you want this is to go forward if you want to go backwards all right so you point your saber downwards and then you twist the third hunter the master the dark lord order so yeah you can do that as well to go back to go forward press and hold to go backwards point your saber downwards and twist all right so now let's go ahead and check out the phone app okay but before that, uh, if, uh, if you want to power off your saber and save your battery, all you have to do is press and hold for 10 seconds. The master. Power off. Until you hear power off, there we go. All right. Right now, very exciting. We are going to be looking at the phone app. Okay, so you want to download this app called the Xeno Configurator. You can search it up on the App Store or on the Google Play Store. Both uh, will work. All right, and it's using your phone's Bluetooth to go ahead and connect to the saber. You will need to power on your saber before it can connect. Forgot to do that. Power on. Okay, so now that it's power on, you can press this button, connect. And you can see the nearby sabers. This is the one connect saber. App connected. And you can hear app connected. So once that is done, you'll be able to power on your saber and change your settings. It even tells you the battery percentage over here, which is really nice. So you can power on the saber like that. And now the saber is on. You can use it to power off the saber as well. So you can turn it on. You can adjust volume. So this is quite convenient if you want to adjust your volume to the exact level that you want and then you can also select fonts. So what is new with this new RGBX 3.0 board is that instead of only 12 sound fonts, you now have up to 34 sound fonts. That's why right. all of the sound fonts that are on the Xenopixel board, you also have it on this XRGB 3.0 board guys. 
look at that insane insane value 34 sound fonts on an rgb saber that is probably unheard of and on top of that you're not only limited by these 34 sound fonts you can even add more of your own using the sd card once you plug it into the pc there'll be a separate video teaching you how to do that if you want to so yeah you can add you can remove the fonts if you don't like them so this is actually a fantastic fantastic new soundboard all right now you can see here we can do lock up light effect this is the lock up light effect we can do drag there's no drag for the rgb uh soundboard but there will be for the xeno soundboard so let's do blaster flash on flash and then force oh there's also force for the rgb x board i forgot to show that also to trigger force all you have to do is press and hold while the saber is on and then give it a shake cool right and then press again very very cool okay previously this was not available on the rgb board but now on the rgb board you even have force effects how cool is that all right now uh using the app you can go ahead and change the color here with the color palette all right so you can see here and the saber will change according to what color you have picked so let's do a green do a more bright green then we can go back to blue we want dark blue purplish and we can do pink yellow maybe you can do it red if you like so yeah you can even dial in the exact numbers uh, for the rg and b values to get the perfect color that you want all right this is amazing and then now you can also do infinite color changing here to toggle on the color changing and then you can stop whenever to select the uh no okay this doesn't select the color you have to press this one more time yeah to trigger the color select all right oops okay so sometimes if your phone is too far away it might uh, disconnect you can also do quick color select if you want and you just press one time to get the color that you want all right next up if you go here to this button you can change the blade length but this doesn't do anything this is for xeno saber so this is rgb saber so the blade length doesn't matter brightness you can even set if you don't want your saber to be on maximum brightness i don't know for what reason maybe you want to say battery you can actually make it dimmer okay but normally i'll recommend it at 100 percent for you know the best star wars like sabery effect all right and then you can uh, use the side blade setting as well uh, there's no side blades for this saber so i'm not going to use it you can toggle your uh, flash on clash sensitivity the lower sensitivity means you're going to need to hit the saber harder to trigger it so right now it is on eight if i hit the saber i really gotta hit it super hard to trigger it Yeah, you can see here, really super hard clashes in order to trigger it. Okay, whereas if I turn the sensitivity on to max, so now it's at 30, any light tap will uh, trigger it. Alright, so normally I prefer 28, I think 28 is just nice. 28, 26, you can do 27 if you want, yeah, but I think 28 is the perfect one in my opinion you can uh for the light effect modes and the timing you can't change this yet this it feature isn't available in the app yet but I, I assume that it should come out sometime in the future so definitely want to stay tuned for that here there's also other functions that you can change but uh it's not out yet so with this new app you should be able to control every single setting using your phone without even having to go to the pc to program to you know key in the code and all that so yeah this app will be super duper convenient once all the updates are rolled out right now it's still in the beta phase so there's still a lot of functions and features not available yet you can see here feature coming soon so yeah not available yet and then here you can see the sabers that are paired up and then uh, if you want to disconnect uh you can also read your saber config upload config to saber i'm not sure if this is uh, ready yet no i don't think so okay so we will not use that function okay you can even factory reset them and you can rename this to the saber that you know you want all right so let's disconnect it and now it is disconnected all 
Alright, so yeah, these are all the cool features of the newest XRGB 3.0 soundboard. Very, very excited to be bringing this to you guys. And if you guys want to purchase any of our XRGB 3.0 sabers, head on over to our carousel page. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know on the page and I'll be sure to answer all of them. I hope you guys have found this video helpful, serving as a instruction manual as well as a feature showcase for the new soundboard. If you have, then be sure to give this video a thumbs up and of course subscribe to this channel. If you guys would like to see more of such Saber showcases. Till the next time, I'm your host Korriban Sabers. Peace out.